Hey guys, Steven here with ProTech. This is a user review of the Leatherman Free P4. I've had this for a few weeks now, and I've got to say, I've been carrying Leatherman for uh, probably close to 20 years, um, a little over two thirds of my life. Um, I'm sorry, a little less than two thirds of my life. Man, I'm getting old. Um, but anyways, the, uh, the Leatherman Free P4 is a major improvement on their multi-tool line. What I really like about it is its user friendliness. It opens that easily. It's got a couple of little magnets on it right here on the inside that hold the two wings together and you can hold it with one hand which I really like and you can open it up. So I've got something in this hand and I want to work on it with my pliers. I no longer have to use two hands or have to use my pant leg, if you will, to open it up. I can just draw it and open it. Another nice thing that it has, what I really like, is it's got all of the tools now on the outside. Okay, so if I need to use my screwdriver, okay, I can simply draw it and open up my screwdriver, my Phillips head screw screwdriver right there. It's got, um, it's got a box cutter on it too, big flat blade screwdriver. This locking mechanism here is really nice. The tools are now all locked in place, okay, and, and it's very solid, um, very difficult to, uh, to break, I would imagine. Um, this, this piece here is actually designed as a, uh, a little pry bar. That's a heavy-duty pry bar, heavy-duty for a multi-tool, if you will. Uh, you can see it's got a lot of material on it. <clears throat> I also like that the the straight-edged knife is in a position such that when you draw the tool, the straight-edged knife is right there. And it's got a little bit of a protrusion on it. So when I draw this, and if it's dark, I can feel and I can tell which side I'm on. That's my straight-edged knife, and it locks the same as the tools do. So now it's fixed in position. And what I really like is the grade of steel that they chose for this is sharpenable. It's, it's, it's more easily maintainable. Um, it doesn't take as much time and effort to sharpen it. And it's a double-edged sword. It, it now takes a little less time to dull it, but it's a lot easier to sharpen uh, quickly in the field if I need to. I used to be a big Benchmade fan until I started carrying the Wingman. And my Benchmades were either 154CM or S30V steel. And it's quite difficult to sharpen in the field with a pocket sharpener, whereas this will be much easier. Um, it's also on the other side, tool-wise, it's got four tools. And what's really nice is you just, you just push right here. I just push on those little knobs right there, and it opens my tool bay. Okay, so I can one-handed open up all my tools. It's got a little bottle opener and a uh, can opener. I'm sorry, this is a can opener. Bottle opener is on this side. Can opener, it's got a little awl and a tiny screwdriver. It's got a little measuring little measuring uh, uh, tape on it in inches and centimeters. You can also strip wires with it there. And then it's got a wood and metal file. There's your metal file and there's your wood file. And another screwdriver. So you got four sizes essentially of flat blade screwdrivers, a Phillips head screwdriver, a can opener, a wire stripper, a measuring tape, <clears throat> a leather awl, or an awl to poke a hole in whatever you need to poke a hole in, and a box opener, and a bottle opener. Okay. Now if we look at the other blades, so I know where my straight blade is, and if I'm on that side and I push out the bottom, there's my scissors. It's got spring-loaded scissors to, to do fine-tuned cuts with. I actually use those to trim my fingernails, and they're quite effective. If I flip it over, now I've got a wood-cutting saw. This is really useful, especially for me on the shooting range. I can cut little branches and stuff off of the trails and not have to bring my chainsaw or a big machete um, or a pole saw with me. As long as I can reach it, I can cut it with this semi-effectively. And then on the other side, I've got a um, Tonto Point serrated single-edged knife for cutting through rope and what have you, stuff that the straight edge would not be good for. And then when I go to open it up, it's nice as I simply draw it and I 
push it apart with my fingers quite quite easy it holds just strong enough that it won't come apart if I if I try to flick it with with momentum I have to actually press put a little bit of pressure in between the pieces like I did on that last time because it slipped in my hand I got a little bit better grip on it but you just push in between those pieces and it comes apart very effective so then for the pliers we've got nice needle nose pliers here on the tip and then of course your standard pliers it's got replaceable wire cutting inserts it's got a light wire cutter uh, towards the top and then the bottom edge where it kind of goes in that's for heavy duty wire cutting or for, for larger gauge things that you want to cut through and then down here it's got a crimper a crimping tool so I can crimp electrical connectors and what have you um, the clip the clip the pocket clip is much more robust than my wingman I actually broke my wingman clip just through normal day-to-day -day use this clip is much more sturdy and I like how they put a nice generous radius on it and they're mounting it with two screws instead of one so now it won't get loose um, just a very quality product now they've got the P3 as well the Leatherman free P3 um, that doesn't have the two uh, serrated um, blades I believe it's just got the the straight edge knife and the scissors and uh, I was looking at it and it, it appears that they're both the same width that the P3 just has a little bit different tooling for this piece of sheet metal on the outside that just causes it to crimp inward a little bit more but this outer texture portion is still the same width so I went ahead and paid the extra 20 bucks and got the P4 um, because it's going to be the same overall size a little bit heavier because it's got the two added blades um, but it's going to be the same overall size and now I've got two serrated blades uh, namely that that saw I really I really like having that on my person to cut little things with out in the woods but anyways guys that is the Leatherman free P4 I'm a gear guy I own a, I own a custom gear business we make holsters and magazine pouches and custom things here um, and I, I'm an instructor I'm a firearms instructor and uh, we live right here on the on the facility we've got a 60 acre shooting facility and I'm also an engineer a mechanical engineer in the gun industry I've been doing that for 12 years so I really appreciate quality gear and Leatherman really really blew it out of the park with this one so the Leatherman Free P4 gets my full endorsement and uh, I recommend it to anybody who's got the uh, the amount of money to pay for it it's about 150 bucks but uh, anyways, guys, stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time.